It's the second most consumed drink in the world after water. Would you believe it? Since the first coffee house opened in 1683, baristas have uh, been amongst our very favourite people. But what goes into making the perfect cup? Gwilym Davies is a world barista champion. He's here now to make up his signature brew for us. Hi, Gwilym. Hello. Hi. Where Welcome. does the perfect cup of coffee start? We all love them. But how well, do it get obviously one? starts with the farmer and with the beans. Mm. Um, there's a huge long journey, sometimes up to a year before it gets to me. Okay. Um, I'm important, but I, I can also trash it. Okay, can we get to the bit where it gets to you? Yes. Yeah, where do we, <laughs> let's fire up the machine and get it going. How okay, it... so filtered water. Yeah. Don't use the uh, water generally out of the taps. Okay. Now I'm afraid there's going to be a bit of noise because we're going to grind it fresh. Used to grinding on this show. <laughs> So fresh beans, ground fresh. Yeah. When we steam the milk, we're not going to steam it for too long. Okay. See, so some people like it really hot, which can be a problem. And if they like it hot, that's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. But um, you're after something, then, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, haven't got it. It's okay. <laughs> so, um, it's absolutely fine if they uh, want it hot, but. If they want the sweetness of the milk mm -hmm. and the texture from the uh, the foam, mm -hmm. then no, keep it cooler. If you don't have a thermometer and you want the milk sort of hot, how do you check the temperature apart from putting your finger in it and getting another blister where you got it last time you tried to check? Because it when you're steaming, if it's too hot to touch, it's too hot to put in the mouth. So Perfect. I mean, we do calibrate ourselves every now and again. Yeah. with thermometers, but we tend to use our senses to find out when it's the right temperature. Well, that's a cracker machine. So a nice, gentle sh 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 noise. I like the disco lights around the it's, outside. <laughs> it's, not, it's for the Xanadu song. Yeah, it was yeah. especially yeah. done. It's my Xanadu coffee maker. But no screeching, just a soft Oh, I like a screech. Noise. Like, no, no, screeching. Oh, no screeching. And it has to look like this. I don't, it's I don't know where the camera lesson, is. Isn't it? No, it's a little lifeless, isn't it? It needs to be really soft. Gentle, tight. Yeah. Almost like. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, it looks yeah. so soft and gentle. Yeah. And a shiny, mirror like finish. <laughs> okay. Really tight bubbles. And how do we pour that in then? Just chuck it in. Mm -hmm. And if you've uh, done the milk well, mm -hmm. it should yeah. be able to pop a little pattern on. Could just, you just make the morning show louder for us, please. <laughs> oh, <laughs> easy. Okay, so just dribble it in slowly. Perfect. All right, all How right. about your signature? I know you've got a signature coffee, which no, we'd love to logo? see. A little that heart. Good. That's beautiful. Let's Thank show you. us your signature one just quickly. Okay. Where it's running out of time. So what are we, what are we going to do with that? Um, let me just get rid of this with my handily put... Uh, just throw it on the floor. We've got people. Okay. I'll just, got people I'll just throw it on the floor if that's okay. That's fine. That's, yeah, that's fine. fine. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> uh, so again, I've got a grind fresh. Huh? What we're going to do is use... Some ingredients that aren't going to cover up the oh, beans. Yeah, chocolate and butter and yeah. Wow. So the butter is going to represent the lovely, rich, buttery flavour uh, texture. Yeah. You have to do this at lightning speed, finding. my man. Here yeah. we go. Okay, we're there. Yeah. Yep. Could that be? Oh, it smells fantastic. So butter's for the texture. Yeah. Orange because coffee's a fruit and it's a little reminder to us that That's coffee comes from yes, a farm. Yes, yes. So you're doing these in the little espresso cups? Yeah, I don't want to overpower the coffee. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're keeping the drink really small. So I'm going to add a little bit of uh, orange zest. Yeah. Orange zest, yeah. And we have butter and chocolate in butter the Butter and chocolate in the pan already. Mm -hmm. A little bit of cinnamon because there's a beautiful, gentle spice in this blend. Wow. See, if I'm going to this much trouble, I'm wanting a three course meal. No, 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 no. It's not about size. Okay. We're right out of time. So, what do we do with the chocolate? This looks intriguing. Are we going to have to yeah. just yeah. pop it in there? It looks intriguing. Yep. It's very simple. You need to give it a swirl. And no okay. milk. No milk. Let's oh. not, let's just, this is all about what's in the coffee. <laughs> I, I, this I, I, is, I, I, this, no, just give it a little, give it a little swirl. Oh, not with that, okay. Oh, a little, little swirl. swirl. It's all about what's in the coffee, so we're looking for a buttery texture, chocolate tones, is this coffee going to help a little bit of orange curly, fruit, roll of and a tiny bit of spice on the back of the palate. Oh, you'd like, um, oh. you like espresso, don't you? That's a good well, one. So fantastic, smooth. a really nice chip there. I'm Thank going to go much. for this one, I think. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Good guys. to see you. Oh, that's so going to help your Xanadu performance. <laughs> Good to see you again. Great coffee.